Oh my god. This baby is found in a cooler floating in the Hudson by two guys kayaking. The weights in a bag broke, causing the cooler to float to the surface. Look at this. Herb must have put something heavy in the bag to weigh it down. The medical examiner tells the cops the one-month-old baby was well cared for, but passed away by being given antidepressants that would not be prescribed to mothers who are nursing their baby. So she breastfed and bonded with his child. That doesn't sound like a woman who would do this. The cops follow a false trail for a while, including a teenager who ended her pregnancy by using her older sister's ID. However, the medical examiner determined that the infant has Tay-Sachs illness. During the autopsy, I noticed her retinas had a reddish discoloration, so I ordered several genetic tests. One came back positive. Tay-Sachs. No treatment or cure. She'd have died a horrible death by the age of five. This was a mercy killing. The signs that the parents would have seen would not have manifested for roughly six months. Tay-Sachs eye discoloration, on the other hand, is noticeable shortly after birth. A pediatrician would have noticed that during a baby exam. This illness is common among Ashkenazic Jews, which helps the police find the baby's parents. They get a warrant for the discarded prescription bottle, which in turn is sufficient grounds for opening the grave. But they find an empty casket. I'll run tests on the lining, but I'm pretty sure there's never been a body in this coffin. The mother is brought in for questioning. A DNA test confirms the baby was hers. She tells them she acted alone and is charged with murder. She was my baby. You could never know how hard this was. She was my baby. You could never know how hard this was. Instead of suffering, she just went peacefully to sleep. 